was this one of these roles that like you just had a like fun doing, or was it because of the seriousness? Like you're playing someone, you know, maybe a little PTSD, maybe a little bit of a has some, you know, questionable things. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I thought of it as I mean you don't want to like you don't want to take that stuff for granted, and you don't want to like just play that stuff for fun because that's all really serious things, and that's you got it incorporated into the character. But on a on a base level, I thought the script was really good fun. The great like your T-shirt that film is not considered a comedy, it's not a comedy. But it is a funny, funny movie, Goodfellas, right? And it was a similar thing with this. It was like, this is a really fun film, as well as being dark and having points to make about misogyny and the way that the world is run and racism and everything. Apart from all that, it's also a fun movie, and that's what drew me to it. I thought, well, we can really have fun with that. And then knowing the people involved, having fun with those people is like, why on earth would you not want to do that? The thing about this film is that it's very ambitious for its like 38 day shooting schedule. Or right, somebody said that earlier on, I couldn't believe it. I was like, they shot it in 38 days? Idiots! I was like, I can't believe they, <laughs> can't believe they did that. I can't no, believe they got it done. I'm, I'm stunned. Yeah. So, but that also adds to the production schedule. You know you need to make your shots. You know you have to have your A game right. on set. So talk a little about, did you ever feel that and do you enjoy that environment? It's interesting, you know, I, I think it's a little bit like, a, like traffic though, you know? If, if you build an extra three lanes onto a highway, cars will fill that highway. Like, rush hour will still be rammed. So even if you're on a film that has a 200 day shooting schedule, every day will be pretty full. You know what I mean? They'll find stuff to fill it with. It never feels relaxed. This wasn't relaxed, but it, but it felt, yeah, it felt like we were working all the time, which is a nice feeling. You don't feel like you're spending a lot of time waiting, which is good. Completely. Uh, before I run out of time with you, I'm definitely asking. Was the highway analogy a bad thing? No. I, I use a good two minutes with the highway analogy. Are we okay with that? Right, yeah. I I'm, still, I'm still talking about it. Right, exactly, no. I have, I have to ask you, um, what, what is it like now, like, because you're part of the Star Wars franchise, yeah. what does it mean to you to be a part of this thing and the fact that, you know, it's a huge part of so many people's lives? It's not the way I think about it. Is the, is the total honest truth without being blasé? Like it's, I like being part of good films. I think the two films, and hopefully the three films, because I've not seen the third one. I hope that I think they're two really, really good films. I hope the next one's a really good one too. I like being in good movies more than I like being in franchises or anything else. So similarly to this, I'm just proud to have been part of something good because it, oftentimes it doesn't work out. So when it does, it feels great. Cool. Um, I definitely want to know, uh, and I know no spoilers, of course, mm -hmm. but what was it like reading that script for the first time for episode nine? Like, is it sort of like, this is the last one with the Skywalkers, this is it. It was cool, it was a page turner, and it was different than what I had thought, and uh, it was great. It was great, it was exciting, and also you feel part of this tiny club that gets to read these things ahead of other people, and that feels great. I, I really did enjoy that, and um, I think it's gonna be cool.